Hi guys, welcome back or welcome if you are new. So today we have Taylor and some of you might remember her from my Christmas video. This is an eight week grow out of her hair. So her green turned blue, which is actually nice. If you don't remember, this is what she looked like and we are gonna try to fade this as much as possible. So I'm gonna go in with Pulp Riot Blank Canvas in 20 volume. As you can see, it did not fade a whole lot in the eight weeks that I haven't seen her. So I'm using 20 volume to try to really get in there and try to remove as much as possible. So when you're putting this on, here, you want to make sure that you are kind of blending it because blank canvas will lift the base so you want to make sure that you're not going to be doing any harsh lines or anything because that will show up So I'm just gonna be putting this blank canvas everywhere that we have the color on both sides, keeping it off the brown because we still wanna keep the brown brown. We don't wanna lighten it at all. And let me tell you guys, this red was a struggle. This blank canvas didn't even fade it whatsoever. So I had to go in with Malibu CPR and Malibu Crystal Gel to fade it, which it did, it did all the fading. And um, I would have used the DDL by Malibu, but I just, I can't find it anywhere. But after we rinsed all of that out, I went in with 4N with Goldwell color knots to bring down her root smudge because she just wanted to bring it down a little bit more and you'll be able to see here in a second how vibrant this is still and I also went in with the undo goo by Malibu and, and that faded it a good bit too so I don't know you guys what is going on with this red but if you want a really good red that's going to stay for at least eight weeks without fading at all the Joyco Intensities red that we used in my last video is going to stay put that bad boy is not going anywhere So this is the color I was finally able to fade it to. It's now more of a red orange, but nonetheless it faded and I'm happy it's not bright red anymore. So I'm going in with the Uberless Dusty Pink. This is a Bond Sustainer color and I'm also mixing that with the Pulp Riot Cupid. This is going to give us a really nice neon bright pink. You can see already how beautiful this color is going to be. And if I didn't mention before, I'm doing gender reveal hair. She's having a gender reveal party. For the blue, I'm using Nemesis because we do like the blue that she has. Um, so we're just going to kind of refresh it a little bit with Nemesis. And she's having her party very soon. So guess in the comments what you guys think it is going to be. So on the red of course we're going to be doing the pink and I'm just going to be making sure it's saturated. I did dry this side because I wanted to make sure the pink was going to be fully deposited as much as possible. Um, it's always best to do your vivids on dry hair so that you can get the best longevity, the best color, all of the things. However, on the other side, you will see that it is damp. It just saved more time to do it this way because all we were wanting to do was kind of refresh the blue because we did like the color that it did fade to. So we're just keeping that and we're gonna be fading it and doing it on damp hair is okay for this because we're just putting blue on top of blue. However, we wanted the pink to be as pink as possible. So that's why I wanted to dry it first. I didn't want a whole lot of red to come through.
If you watched my last video, you know that I did a different color money piece on each side. So like on this side, we're doing a blue hair, but her money piece is going to be pink. And on the other side, we're doing pink hair and her money piece is going to be blue. So you still want to make sure even though it's damp that it's going to be super saturated. You want to make sure all the color is depositing. You don't want it to be patchy. So make sure you are saturating guys. So we're gonna be letting her sit for about 45 minutes. I was always taught the longer the better, so I always try to let them sit for as long as possible. And after that, we are rinsing her in ice cold water. And I mean ice cold. You don't want any warmth to this so that the colors don't bleed together. This would have made a beautiful purple. However, that's not what we are going for. So ice cold water, and I like to make sure I'm rinsing out the sections separately. So I'm doing the blue first, and once that's all rinsed out and the water is clear, I will be moving on to the pink side. After we dried her, I trimmed her up, gave her some curtain bangs, and oiled her with Olaplex number no. 7 bonding oil. And this is our after. It is such a gorgeous color. I am in love with this pink and blue combination. But let me know what you guys think. Be sure to also let me know if you think it's a boy or a girl. Be sure to subscribe and like, comment, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.